All right, number two, um, I called this one Show It Before You Get the Title. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me more. This one is if you want to manage people, uh, you have to show that ability before you actually get the job title. Yep. And so this was the big, this is we traded back, back and forth on this. And it's like, this is, you just, you naturally step, you have naturally stepped up to become a leader before someone says, here you go, you know, here you go, Bob, here now you keys. are a leader, here are the keys, it's yeah. time for you to become a leader, right? Mm -hmm. It's, I think the thing that you talked about is like, everybody around that person should know, oh yeah, th they're already doing this, mm -hmm. now they just have the title to go with it. Yeah, the worst thing that can happen in a scenario where you're promoting someone is that you promote someone into a position where they manage people. Uh, and but no one around them, their peers, thinks that that person is capable of managing people. Have, right? Has that happened? Have you seen that happen oh, yeah, before? Plenty of times. What hap What happens then? Chaos, right? Because so, what everybody's like, what the? F yeah, it never ends well, right? Uh, because one, they don't have the support of their peers, right? Right, and two, they're learning on the job while they have the peers around them have kind of a critical view on them. And mm -hmm. so, the reason that this one comes up is a lot of times, and this is a problem within most companies, is that there's no progression path outside of moving towards managing someone, right? And what I've done in the past, we haven't done this yet at Drift, but I've done in the past is to have dual tracks always where you can get promoted at the same rate uh, as you would uh, being a manager, being a non-manager. So mm. just being better and better at your skill, right, and growing there and not having the same level of prestige, the same level of pay, the same level of equity, the same everything, uh, but you don't have to manage people. This is, I'm glad you brought that up because this is the thing that you circled and highlighted in, in the Radical Candor book, which mm -hmm. is like the difference, there's a difference between superstars and rock stars, mm -hmm. and one isn't better or worse. No, it's not better or worse. So like these are two different paths, and the, this one is important because a lot of times when people say, I, wanna, I want to start managing people, they might not necessarily want to manage people. What they're saying is like, I want a promotion. Right. And then they're taking on. And then the only way in their scenario might be like, I yeah. have to manage. Someone. And sometimes that might not even be the best thing for the company. Right. If mm -hmm. you move that person out of a, a doing role into a management role, you might have a gap in the in the doing role. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. Yeah. And then the other part about that uh, is that that you need to you need to be operating. You need to be seen as a leader. Right. And a leader is to me is someone. And I don't know if this is rule three. Yeah. is someone that is, sees. um that is worried about those people around them mm -hmm. and lifting the people around them up more than they're worried yeah. about themselves. No, I kept this as part of two because I think it's – you show – these are all things that you need to show mm -hmm. as a person. And I know the number one thing from, from you, and I, you say this all the time, is uh, – we versus I. Yeah. That's like something you listen to in interviews, you see in people's writing. Explain mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So that comes up. That's key here. So like when you're talking to someone or you're interviewing someone or even in this scenario, someone wants to move into management, you know, what are the words that they're using? Mm -hmm. You know, are they, is it about like we as a team, as a sub team, as a group, as a whatever? Is it we that they're talking about or is it mostly like I? Mm -hmm. And I find like a lot of times people who want to move into management prematurely to manage people, one, have never managed anyone by definition, haven't shown those leadership qualities, but are more worried about me, 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 I, I, I want this, I want this, I want this, and what, and and the group yeah. never comes into the people that they want to manage never comes into the conversation. Yeah, you said you should be worried about those other people. <laughs> it's funny, like. Just like the, when you text, sometimes it's like more poetic than if you had sat down and like, all right, I'm gonna write something. <laughs> <laughs> this is like perfect because it's just it's no yeah. it's stream of consciousness. Stream of con you said uh, you should be worried about those other people growing more than you growing. Yes. You should care about giving them credit and not about taking the credit. If people don't already see you as a leader and want to follow, then I can't just give you that title and make it so. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So, all right, yeah, so that's I did sound better in text. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you do. You do. <laughs>